And here we are in third person mode and Lilith looks absolutely incredible. But here we have the blood pedal tracers on the cast off 762, which look absolutely incredible. And we could also have them for the RPK. Those are some pretty dope tracers. Make sure you guys drop a like. Down. Did she rip his heart out? So uh, what's up guys? It's here here by Nino or Quadigy, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, Warzone, and technically Modern Warfare 3. In today's video, we're covering a very special store bundle, the third collaboration of season six so far, and that's gonna be Tracer Pack Lilith Operator Bundle, which features Lilith from the Diablo series. Now, I don't play Diablo, so I don't know the context of Lilith. It just seems like she's like very demonic and maybe one of the final bosses or something within Diablo, but I legit know nothing about it. So if you guys can let me know in the comments section below what she's all about, let me know if you're a fan of that series. But it's cool to see her in this game. And she comes with some crazy tracer blueprints for the ISO 45 and the TR-76 guys. And she comes with a finishing move and some other cool stuff. So if you guys are excited to see how the guns look like with camels on, see how the traces look like, see how Lilith looks like, even in third person mode, and anything secretive about this bundle that you should know, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. On this channel, I do upload store bundle videos every so often, you know, the ones that interest me. So like the collab bundles like here, tracer packs, animated, reactives, or whatever I find interesting. So make sure you guys tune in for that. I upload, also upload Warzone 2 videos, as well as the random video you might just not expect. So if you guys want to be entertained, definitely tune in. I'm just glad that you're here. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this bundle. So starting it off, we got the Operator skin of Lilith, which comes with the finish move of Daughter of Hatred. Hail Lilith. And uh, let's see how she looks like real quick. Ooh, okay. She's got a nice little freaking like very just, just crazy dress, I guess you could say. She's got wings on her, bro. This is actually kind of crazy. She looks great all around. Like, I wonder how like her character model appears in game and if you shoot the wings, if it's gonna count like for her overall hitbox. Either way though, she looks pretty freaking incredible. Next up, we got the TR-76 Geist of the Blood Pedal, which comes with the Blood Pedal Tracers and the Death Effect Ascension. And here are the Tracer Packs, or the Tracer and the Death Effect. And it looks like you legit annihilate them into little rose death petals, which look incredible. And this blueprint seems to be animated in some sort of way, which is really cool. And as you see from the attachments, it comes with some ammunition of the 7.62 high velocity. Now, if there's anything to see from this, these tracers could work on the cast off 762 and the RPK. I'll definitely show that off later in the video if that's the case. But overall, this is a very cool looking freaking sort of blueprint. And I'm excited to see how camels look like for sure. Really dope. Next up, we got the ISO 45 Eternal Conflict, which also has the same tracers. And here we are with the ISO 45 tracers, pretty much giving the same effect. And looking at the attachments, it doesn't come with any ammunition, so you can't put these tracers on any other weapons, but it comes with a pretty good class setup, and it's also animated as well, just like the Geist, which is pretty sweet to see. We also got the finishing move of Daughter of Hatred, which I can just imagine is going to look insane, so we'll show that off in game. We got the Wretched Death uh, Vehicle Skin, we got the Altar of Lilith's Charm, the Weapon Sticker of Lilith's Call, the Loading Screen of Lilith's Throne, which looks incredible, and the Emblem of Summon Lilith. So all this for 2400 COD points. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the Diablo series, but so far the guns look incredible. The finish move is probably gonna be insane and Lilith herself is absolutely just uh, amazing looking. So I think it's so far a W, you know, de depending if you have any traces for the Ice of 45 or the Geist, but uh, let's go ahead and check out this bundle in detail. Let's rock and roll. So here we have Lilith looking absolutely demonic and incredible the way that she does. Very incredible, I should say. And here we have the Blood Pedal TR-76 guys and the ISO-45 Eternal Conflict. But before looking at the guns, I do want to confirm to you guys that yes, you can attach the TR-76 guys tracers to both the Cast Off 762 and the TR-70 uh, and to the RPK. So in order to do that, you go to the ammunition here, equip the 7.62 high velocity, go to the skin section, and if you put on the blood pedal section, then you'll be able to put on the traces on both of the guns, on both the cast out 762 
as well as the RPK. So you are essentially buying four tracer guns if you're going to stick with the ammunition. And it's pretty good ammunition for that bull velocity. So that's kind of a good deal. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the blood pedal here. So once again, if you want to keep the tracers on this gun, you can change any of the attachments except for the ammunition. If you change the ammunition, you will not keep the tracers. Here is how the base camels look like on the gun. We got uh, looking at very good. We got gold camel looking pretty nice on this weapon. We got platinum with the nice little fiery red and the platinum looking nice. Ooh, polyatomic looks really clean on this gun in my opinion as well. And we also got the Orion camo, which also looks pretty sweet. Here's the bioluminescent fun camo, the purple dark violet fun camo, which looks pretty sweet. The germinate fun camo, and we also got the good night vibes fun camo. The neon peaks fun camo, which is a little bit much for this blueprint. And of course the yellow speckled fun camo. And when it comes to the solid color camos, here's how they're gonna look like on the weapon. Looking pretty sweet in some combinations. Here we have the event camos, and I think blood cell fits this perfectly with how, you know, Diablo and Lilith are. Um, and here are the rest of them. I think uh, the boys looks decent, but I think blood cell looks like the best out of all of these. Ether wave is really cool too though, but pretty cool. And here we have the CDL camels that I have uh, so far and they look pretty nice on this gun, can't lie. And the ranked camel that I have. Moving on over to the ISO 45 SMG. Once again, if you want to change any of the attachments, you can, but don't add in ammunition. If you add an ammunition, you will lose the tracers. But here's how the camels look like on the gun. Here's how gold camel looks like. Here's how platinum camel looks like, a lot more cleaner. Here's polyatomic, which looks really great on this weapon in my opinion. Really adds some like style and direction. And we got Orion camo as well, which looking pretty sweet. Here's the bioluminescent fun camo, the purple dark violet fun camo, the germinate fun camo, and the goodnight vibes fun camo, as well as the neon peaks fun camo, and the yellow speckled fun camo. And when it comes to the sol solid color camos, here's how it's going to look like. I think it looks a little bit better on the Geist personally, but that black one, pretty nice. And here we have the event camos. Once again, blood cell looking pretty much the best. And uh, here are the rest of the camos and how they appear on the gun, uh, looking pretty sweet. And here are the CDL ranked camos that I have uh, that all look pretty nice on the gun, as well as the, the one ranked camo I have. But now I'm going to show you guys how the guns look like with their meta class setups for multiplayer. So here are the base blueprint attachments for the Blood Pedal TR-76 Geist. And here are the meta attachments for the Blood Pedal. And luckily you do keep most of the look of the gun, which is awesome to see. Here are the base blueprint attachments for the Eternal Conflict ISO 45. And here are the meta attachments for the ISO 45 Eternal Conflict. And luckily, these both of these guns retain their look in both multiplayer and with their default uh, loadouts, which is really nice. And in case you guys are wondering, Lilith is part of the Cortex side, looking pretty sweet as she does and just looking amazing. I have not come to save. But she sounds very scary. I like that. A faith in me. Now, our true work begins. Simply take my hand. Fight the Sanctuary. You could be Sanctuary's greatest protector. You will learn pain. Only glimpsed in myth, your sacrifice will not have been in vain. Break the chains and be beautiful in sin. Break the chains and discover who you were meant to be. I like how they go from like super crazy sounding and then just a calm sound. But yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead into game and show off Lilith and all the tracer guns and see how that, how that finishing move is. This is a really cool bundle. So here we are with the TR-76 Geist looking absolutely demonic and incredible. I love how the bullets look on this blueprint as well. I imagine this is going to look very nice in the dark. We'll show that off in a little bit. And here we have the Eternal Conflict ISO 45. Also looking pretty sweet for itself, but you already know this gun. these guns are going to look a lot better in the darkness. So uh, let's inspect them again in the dark. And yeah, they definitely are a lot better in the dark as you can see. They, they have a nice glow to them, which is, uh, you know, something that we kind of kind of expected already. I really love how the bullets glow on this freaking mag. That's so clean. Uh, yeah, let's see how the traces look like. Yeah, they look pretty sweet. I can't even lie. That's really nice. And if you keep shooting the mag, uh, it lights up the gun more. That's actually really nice as an effect. Does it do the same thing for the uh, for the ISO 45? Yeah, it does. That is really tight. So if you wanted to get more of the uh, the visual look of the gun, just shooting it all the way. 
And then getting that that double effect is going to give you uh, some pretty dope stuff. You also see her shadow. You see her little like her head in the shadow. You see her shadow. That's really nice. I don't know. It's just little things like that. I like uh, I like attention to. Okay. So to start things off, let's see uh, how things look like. Also, let me show you guys the sights. Nothing special about the sights, but let's see how the traces look like. Oh, I like how little rose petals uh, kind of come out. And there you go. They get disintegrated into a bloody red and the blood petal comes out. Pretty sweet. But you can also see her feet, bruh. Hold on. You guys see her feet? She shows off her feet, bruh. Like, very slowly. I, I just thought that'd be interesting for some of you. But, uh, going to the ISO 45. Here is, uh, the effect. And yeah, once again, the blood petal shows off pretty well. I like this death effect. It's pretty clean. Now let me switch over to the cast off 762 and the RPK, but here we have the blood pedal tracers on the cast off 762, which look absolutely incredible. And we could also have them for the RPK. Those are some pretty dope tracers. But yeah, now let's check out how the finishing move looks like uh, here standing up. Break the chains and be beautiful in sin. This is a pretty, that was pretty gnarly. I can't even lie. Now let's see how the finisher looks like when they're laying down. Now, our true work begins. Did she rip his heart out? Goodness. Now we're gonna see how the finishing move looks like when they're pretty, pretty much downed. Your sacrifice will not have been in vain. Yo, she's powerful, bro. She took dude up and just sacrificed him. That was crazy. Yeah, pretty fire bundle to say the least. I can't even lie. And we switch over to our meta class setup. Uh, forgot to check this earlier. You'll see that we still have the tracers on our meta class setup, of course. So, as long as you don't change the ammunition, you are good. But yeah, let's go into third person mode now and check her out in third person. This is pretty crazy. And here we are in third person mode and Lilith looks absolutely incredible. The uh, the wings are definitely going to stand out. I imagine using this skin is going to definitely, you know, stand out in like, especially bright areas. I don't know if like the hitbox is like extended or whatever to like her horns or her rings or whatever, but this is pretty cool. This is actually like a really dope operator skin. And unlike anything that we've seen in Call of Duty, I didn't even realize that she has a fucking like skeleton tail or whatever the heck that is, but... W Operator skin. I gotta say, W W Operator skin. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this bundle. You guys think it's a cop? You guys think it's not a cop? Uh, I think overall it's really dope. I just wish there was a different tracer gun than the ISO 45 because the ISO 45 already has too many tracers. Like a cast off 5 for 5 would have been cool. But uh, 76 guys to the W, the finishing move is incredible. <laughs> Uh, overall, I think it's a W, and you can carry it into Modern Warfare 3, so day one of Modern Warfare 3 next month, uh, you could be Lilith, which would be kind of insane, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and you turn on those post notifications, let me know your guys' thoughts on the bundle in the comments section below. We still got more fire bundles for the rest of this Halloween month, and then in Modern Warfare 3, we're going to be going crazy with the content, especially Warzone 2. Let me know what you're most excited for, and uh, keep being big ballers. I really freaking love you all. <laughs>